Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for December 14th, 2020. Walt Disney World has discontinued fireworks and nighttime spectaculars during the pandemic for Disney Parks fans missing the amazing holiday fireworks. A virtual option is now available. The Disney Parks blog has posted a recorded version of Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks from the Magic Kingdom. The 15 minute pre recorded video is from the 2019 Spectacular. That's when it debuted. It's presented by the current Disney Plus film Godmother. The video features Jillian Bell and scenes from the streaming feature. The Disney Parks blog post also details how Walt Disney World Resort Hotel guests are able to view the fireworks in their rooms. A pre recorded candlelight processional from Epcot is also available in those Disney Resort rooms as well. Guests can tune in to Channel 74 for nightly viewings of the fireworks at 6.30, 8.30, and 10.30 p.m., as well as the Candlelight Processional at 5, 7, and 9 p.m. Walt Disney World is no longer placing digital face masks over maskless guests and on-ride photos. Just a short time after they started enhancing photos to add digital masks to unmasked guests, it seems the experiment is over. Disney has released an official statement regarding the change. Quote, in response to guest requests, we tested modifying some ride photos. We are no longer doing this and continue to expect guests to wear face masks, uh, except when actively eating or drinking while stationary. The digital masks added some processing time to PhotoPass ride photos. The digital face mask enhancements were initially rolled out at Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin at the Magic Kingdom and aboard Dinosaur at Disney's Animal Kingdom. You may have even seen this story with us featured on Gizmodo and Forbes and all over the Internet. <laughs> This, uh, this past weekend. <laughs> Having made swift work on its refurbishment, the completed Walt Disney World entrance archway at Western Way has finally been unveiled, welcoming guests to the most magical place on Earth. The completed sign features prominent gold and royal blue colors with a white Walt Disney World light-up sign and a new golden banner. Golden flags were recently installed above the entrance archway. These represent Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary, which we'll celebrate next year. Similar to the Magic Kingdom Toll Plaza, you can see there's been a, a faint iridescent pink sheen added to these. And Mickey and Minnie Mouse will remain unchanged on these completed entrances, although the characters certainly pop against the new blue background. Work uh, continues on the entrance at Hotel Plaza Boulevard, which does not have an archway. We expect that to be completed soon. And then obviously, uh, probably in the next year, probably not a thing they want to do during heavy crowds, uh, they will update the World Drive, World Center Drive and Osceola Parkway entrances. New Year's Eve, revelers won't be able to celebrate in the parks this year. However, guests staying at Walt Disney World Resort hotels will be able to ring in the new year on property. Lounges and quick service locations throughout the resort will remain open until 1 a.m. on January 1st, 2021. And while the lounges will remain open late, table service restaurants will not. For example, while the Sanaa Lounge will remain open until 1 a.m., the Sanaa Dining Room closes at 9, and I'm seated at 8.50 typically. Most quick service locations, inside joke. Most quick service locations will also remain open until 1 a.m., including Captain Cook's, Gasparilla Island Grill, Goods Food to Go, uh, Contempo Cafe, and Everything Pop, among others. You can head over to our site for a complete list of the lounges with those extended New Year's Eve hours. Refurbishment continues on the Main Street USA train station in the Magic Kingdom, now with the scrim covering the station almost completely. The Walt Disney World Railroad has been closed for over two years now due to the construction of Tron Light Cycle Run. Prior to the park's March closure, a train was on exhibition at Main Street USA station and later at the Fantasyland station. In the past few weeks, fresh tracks have been laid in Fantasyland and a scrim was erected around that Main Street station. Now an additional layer of scrim covers most of the top portion. Here's a view from outside as guests approach the park. The traditional entrance photo is, of course, impacted by the heavy presence of scrim, but the Mickey floral is still there. It's always Friendship Day at the Crystal Palace in the Magic Kingdom. However, now the popular eatery has reopened with several changes. Winnie the Pooh and all his friends from the Hundred Acre Woods are no longer stopping by, and instead of a buffet, family-style dining is offered with unlimited refills of select items. We sat down at the Crystal Palace on reopening day Sunday to try out the new menu. Despite the characters being gone, the general theme is still Winnie the Pooh. In fact, the menu purposefully features summertime picnic favorites. The theme is that you're on a picnic in the Hundred Acre Wood. For the full experience and food reviews, head on over to WDWNT.com to see if it's a good choice for you and yours. After a brief closure as ownership transferred to the Walt Disney Company, the Souk Al Maghreb, which I'm sure I'm butchering, has reopened. Located in the Morocco Pavilion of Epcot, the retail spot offers a variety of Moroccan goods. The shop's manager informed us that the reopening date for the rest of the Morocco Pavilion is unknown, but uh, this is open. 
Colorful doors have been opened once again to welcome guests, also freshly painted. Guests enter using the side entrance. Inside, you'll notice Moroccan-inspired apparel and accessories, similar to what was sold before. However, new with Disney at the helm, a wall dedicated to Aladdin merchandise. The newly added Aladdin merchandise includes a toy, uh, toy sets, plus jasmine dolls and costumes for children, and some ornaments. Naturally, health and safety measures are still in place, as they are throughout all of Walt Disney World. You can watch a full video tour of the reopened store here on our channel. Meanwhile, over at Spice Road Table, uh, new theming details have been added. The restaurant also debuted a new menu on December 13th. Spice Road Table is not utilizing reservations, so guests can just walk up for availability. Actually, uh, I'll be heading over there tonight to do a review of the new food over there, so stay tuned for that. Demolition work is swiftly continuing on the former Interventions West at Epcot. Across the way, structural steel, meanwhile, has been added at Interventions East as demolition, I guess, is done, and now construction can begin of that new bakery and counter service space. Let's take a look at the state of both. At Interventions West, demolition of the second floor is underway. All that remains here is the structural steel. The light rigging at center is used to light Spaceship Earth since the lighting has been removed from the building. The Interventions West second floor windows have been removed. This used to be above the Art of Disney. A closer look at the second floor interior reveals that some uh, roll-up lines are still hung in the windows. They just left those. Lighting fixtures and wiring hang from the ceiling, and eventually this section of the park will be the World Celebration neighborhood, along with some of the Moana Journey of Water walkthrough, which will lead out to the seas with Nemo and friends. Uh, that'll be part of World Nature. A festival center may no longer be in the works, but Epcot promises a new festival area. That land, of course, is already cleared. On the other side of Interventions Plaza, structural pieces are being added to Interventions East, what used to be the electric umbrella. New structural supports have been added where Interventions East exterior walls will rise. The steel framing creates a stepped surface rather than a flat one. And in the Interventions East breezeway, a new structural header beam is in place. Interventions East previously housed again the electric umbrella and mouse gear, but it will be home to a new redesigned mouse gear, as well as the all-new Club Cool, which will be on that side. And on the other side, where electric umbrella was, a new Starbucks and bakery location, as well as a new quick-service dining concept. For now, of course, that makeshift mouse gear is still located behind this space. What began as a mysterious building has become a full-fledged goat exhibit on Kilimanjaro safaris at Animal Kingdom with detailing finally complete, the goats have moved in. This is exciting. Before we see the goats, let's take a look at some of the theming of the exhibit. Though the main themed area is next to the safari truck path, the enclosure extends backwards with plenty of space. A few themed barrels sit next to a tree near the back. A cooler and case sit on a table uh, next to the truck. There's an antenna on the side of the building, so safari guides uh, resting inside can get a good signal. Uh, there is a light on uh, next to the front door, and the sign near the truck points to the ranger station 5km ahead. There's a structure near the building with cases and a bench nearby as well. A stone fire pit out in the front with three flat stones to sit on around it. Next to the tree is a table and a bench, which would make a great lunch spot for the guides or the goats. And finally, some clothes are drying on a clothesline. They've been rightly placed out of the reach of the goats. Speaking of which, the goats arrived the day after we took uh, some of the photos you're seeing now. Josh Wren on Twitter was nice enough to send us the pictures you're seeing now. The goats are mostly hiding behind the building. A cast member was also there to present, uh, to help them uh, get acclimated to the new environment. One goat had already made itself at home on top of the building. Looks like the other goats were having fun frolicking across the hill. Kilimanjaro Safari has also saw some other changes recently with the removal of the Wilson Matua pre-show video. Um... I know I usually stop for negative things. Everyone's like, oh, he always hates everything. This is great. I love this Warden's Post. It's beautifully themed. There's finally something to see along the end of this ride. Uh, and uh, the goats are fun. And it'll be fun to see them up on the roof and, you know, doing stuff out in the yard. Uh, this is a much-needed change since the zebras were removed from this space several years ago. Um, it's nice to see something there. And I love that it's themed and it's staged well. And it's very pretty. It's very nicely done. Adjacent to Disney Swan and Dolphin Resort, the uh, Walt Disney World Swan Reserve will soon be joining the Epcot Hollywood Studios area hotel lineup, officially set to open in July 2021. With the construction on the hotel rapidly progressing, Marriott has gone ahead and updated the hotel's landing page with new room concept art plus mock-ups of the many uh, resort common spaces. Marriott gives the following overview of the property, quote, Situated in the middle of the magic, the Walt Disney World Swan Reserve and Autograph Collection Hotel provides a luxurious yet tranquil oasis to attractions and theme parks at Disney. With Disney's newest attractions, including Disney's Hollywood Studios' Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, within walking distance, guests can flow effortlessly 
from the excitement of the theme parks to the relaxation of a lavishly appointed hotel room or suite perfect for families of 6 to 10. Complimentary transportation is provided from uh, throughout the Walt Disney World Resort, including Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. And as an added benefit, guests enjoy full access to amenities of the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resorts, including special Disney benefits. The Walt Disney World Swan Reserve truly is like nothing else, located like nowhere else. The hotel will feature rooms with standard views or your choice of Epcot or Disney's Hollywood Studios views with king or queen beds. While all rooms will feature floor-to-ceiling windows, you can upgrade to a suite for a balcony as well. Uh, as this is a convention-oriented hotel, meeting suites and presidential suites will also be available. Walt Disney Imagineering has shared two photos from the ongoing construction of Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, which is set to open at Disneyland Paris on March 8th, 2021. We got a black and white look at the resort's comic book wall back in November. The hotel will celebrate the artwork of Marvel comics and films. Here, Imagineers stand in the Manhattan restaurant looking at the new chandelier inspired by the planet Asgard. Though Disneyland Paris is currently closed for at least February 12th, they have many projects under construction, including their own Avengers campus. We hope you haven't spent all your money on honey because these new Winnie the Pooh, Dooney, and Burke bags, or as I call them, poonies, are a must-have for your Disney purse collection. Now available at Uptown Jewelers, Magic Kingdom, and World of Disney at Disney Springs in Walt Disney World, plus online at Shop Disney. The collection features four different styles with all-over prints of Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore 2. And there's Tigger looking very cute chasing a bumblebee. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. This program is brought to you by our travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. The Vacationeer, the official travel agency of WDWNT. Also, don't miss out on our Merry Splash Miss Ugly Sweater Tee from the Carousella Products at CarouselaProducts.com. Also, use the discount code SPLASHMISS to save 10% on orders of $50 or more. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and also make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of any of our shows. For the Worldwide Leader in Disney Parks News, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today, and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Now I'm going to go see some goats. Very excited about the goats. Looking for the latest in Disney news on the go? Then download WDWNT, the app. From news to videos to park hours and more, WDWNT the app is your one-stop shop for the latest from the Disney world. Available on iPhone and Android, just search for WDWNT in your device's app store.